Okay, uh, this, this actually uh, probably won't last more than 10 minutes if you... <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's not like it's on it's on uh, uh, assignment. Yeah. Uh, but you can you can follow the instruction. You can just also uh, see how it's it's only uh, just two websites copy paste. But the background is uh, uh, panda. You uh, panda used to be classified as a bear. Oh, uh, the. the <coughs> And the question, but as a, sometime uh, before people, uh, uh, oh, actually panda used to be classified as a raccoon, not bear. Uh, uh, but then in 85, and people at the Smithsonian and public papers say, panda actually is, should be uh, classified as bear and not a raccoon. So we, we are, what we are trying to do, we use uh, mitochondrial 16 sRNA. That's that is because that's the small subunit of RNA gene of mitochondria. Gene. <coughs> so I provided you the sequence, and then we generate a tree. Uh, then we will see which one is the, actually the living relative of giant. So, so <coughs> you see, uh, well, so there are some sequence. Uh, oh, okay, let's first uh, get the final the sequence. If you copy this website <coughs> and go back to uh, your internet browser, <coughs> just paste that. <coughs> yes, you will see the <coughs> Pander phylogeny and lab, and, and then. The first one will be the sequence. The second one is the software side to generate phylogeny. Uh, if you right click on this one, that will open the sequence in a separate uh, a window or a new tab. So, Try to download it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me use Firefox so it won't download. You can copy and paste it. Yeah, I I, I try to copy and paste, but it somehow the Internet Explorer automatically download it. Uh, I don't want it to download. I mean, download is also okay, but it's uh, it's it's unnecessary. We don't have to download. Uh, that's fine. If you use Firefox, it seems to be working. So if you go to the website, it's it actually just my own website. If you uh, click download, you will find this. Uh, so if you go to my website, click downloads, uh, downloads, and then you will see say course module, it will be say Pander Phylogeny Lab. And click that, you will see the, the, link. the first one is the sequencing faster format. The second one is the software. So right click on this one, right click, and then say open a new tab. Uh, it will open the, the sequence. Right. So, sorry. Yeah, if you download, um, <coughs> you can open it with the text editor. Yeah, we don't, yeah, download is more troublesome. So the first one is the, yeah. If you, if you look at the sequence, first one is giant panda, and then it's a red panda. And then it say spectacular bear. That's in South America. Then they are also short-faced bear. They are also Asian sun bear, uh, brown bear. They are also Asian black bear. So how they look like, they basically look like uh, 
So they have Jack Pender, that must be the agents, Agent Black, Brown Bear, Spectacular Bear. This is a Red Pender, that's oh. the short face bear. Yes. Um, I put it in with the one click and it says that there's not enough sequence. You put the whole uh, you all are of it in? Too fast. Oh, you have to put all of it in. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, basically in 1985 people and use molecular uh, sequence data and found out uh, if you look at this tree, that's actually the original figure. So we have a raccoon here. Uh, that's a lesser panda, the red panda, we have giant panda here. So the giant panda, uh, so raccoon is basically the outer group here. And we have brown bear, black bear, sun bear, spectacular bear, and giant panda in one uh, group. That's called clay sometimes. So, mm -hmm. so the red panda and the raccoon are certainly <coughs> more distant to giant panda. And in 1985, this is actually quite significant. It's actually a nature paper. And we can do this in class, or we can do this in 10 minutes, basically. So, OK, so um, we, we, let's just, let me just say select all. Let me see whether this, select all. I choose select all. OK, and then I say choose copy. And then I go back to my own side again. This time you see online phylogeny construction <coughs> uh, in uh, France. Right click <coughs> this one again. Uh, okay, that's good. It's working. Then we choose one click. This is a uh, phylogeny or education or even use. Okay, and then click this window. You see the either you can either upload the sequence in faster. That's happen when you download the sequence. Or you can just paste everything here. So I will just right click and then say paste. There yeah, everything is here. Uh, name of the analysis. Uh, I would say giant panda. Uh, let's see. And then say submit. And we just wait and see. <laughs> this slide will be done. <laughs> but there will be more. <laughs> so. Those are just animations. That can be a real process. There. So, okay, what can we tell from this tree? Well, uh, you see some numbers say 0 0.98, 0 0.75. Those are not distant. Those are what we call the bootstrap value. It's a measure to, to describe the reliable of those bifurcations. So, so, so because there are some, the thing during evolution are so much noise, mutation is random. How do we know those data? I mean, generally, tree. How do we know the computer didn't make a mistake? How the sequence? It basically noise. How do we know that? This this red number is just to measure how reliable those patterns are. So, but for the time being, we can just ignore those number and only look at the bifurcation patterns. So, okay, who? What can we see here? That is that all the way from the famous that says red panda. Uh, which one do you think is the living relative of giant panda? Red panda? Yeah. Yeah. What What's the closest living relative of giant panda? Or would it be the the short face bear? Okay, if you look at the instruction, you will know the short face, short. Oh, yeah. The short face bear, actually, if you Google, you will find the short face bear is dead a long time ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's extinct. 
So the next one will be <coughs> yeah, it'll be the spectacular. Spectacle this one is still a live at a South America. Okay. That's the one that is closest to me. Living. Well, it's the closest one in the short face band, but uh -huh. this one is the extinct animal. So the but how do you save this picture? You can either download. Uh, actually, last time uh, I think people said copy image. Yeah, you probably can just see a copy image, and then let me see whether I can directly put it to a Word document. And then I say paste. Oh, wow, wonderful! <laughs> see, you just copy paste. You can actually generate this tree. Now, uh, I mean, you could. Even though the label of giant panda and red panda are closer, but if you look at the horizontal branch, they are they are pretty far away from each other. So, so the, this, the way you, to read this tree is not because giant panda and red panda put closer on the tree. It, you have to see the distance around. And in fact, you, you probably don't want to use this tree for your presentation since you give a misrepresentation of giant panda. I give some mis understanding, at least for misunderstand. So you may want to flip this tree. How do we flip this tree? If, if you scroll down, you see something called flip. Right? You see this flip sign? Right? right click on this, now you see the flip is highlighted. And then I go back here, I say flip. Sometimes it's it's uh, I think it's on because it's Because look how far the thing is. It's really takes a while to This line is all the way around this one and then the numbers are mm -hmm. Dr. Chen, yes. when we're going over, I'm slightly confused because when I'm looking at the numbers, one is 0.89 yeah. and the other one is 0.98. Those aren't the distances. Okay. Those are not distances. Those are reliable uh, information to measure the how reliable the tree are. Uh, I guess so. Okay. Uh, let me try swap. Uh, flip two branches, I don't know. Uh, It's not even responding. Oh, okay. Can someone, can some of you have tried to swap the, the tree? I didn't yeah, swap. It didn't I didn't work. Work. It's, it's not working. working. I flipped it at two minutes. So. You did flip it? Because ah, cool. flip flip Finally, it took yeah. a while to respond. See? I know a uh, uh, flip. What did you do? Uh, what did you do to make it flip? Um, uh, you have to wait for time to flip fingers. I tried to flip it, that doesn't yeah. respond, and then try to swap. Yeah. You can even change the name. Uh, for example, let me. Uh, can you do it? Okay, so I have to do it. Well, but, yeah, see, but, but now no, I can say. Did you write it like that? So you can do the first one? Uh, what? No, you just. No, you just. You just, put just, you just regular click. Yeah, see, I just changed the name. It takes a while to respond. It, it is in French. French side of it. Let me see what's the rest of it. So the numbers are flying. Yeah, you can try different. Uh, you can also try different way to uh, to represent your tree. Uh, in the tree, let me see. Uh, yeah, you can either display if you unclick that, say none, and then those red number will go away. See, this time the red number go away. So if you if you found this information confusing, you can. Kind of click at the, let this information go away. 
Uh, you can also, that's called file overrun. You can also choose an unrooted tree, uh, radian. So, oops, this is, wait a minute, I, I just choose the unrooted tree. <coughs> Sometimes it's too low as well. Uh, it should give me an end route, but it, it's, it's not giving me the end route in the tree. What do you change the loop Just the regular, I just Ah, yes, they see the enrooted tree, finally. You see? The, I, I choose a different format of the tree. Oh, gee, uh, this tree is too large. I guess. This time I choose this uh, radial. Instead of rooted tree, I choose this uh, radial, which is uh, enrooted tree. So, so when it's a rooted tree, you can clearly see the red panda is much further away from this group. So the giant panda is here, spectacular. So this is a spectacular bear, a short faced bear, and those are Asian bears. Are those Asian bears? So. I'm going to change the You can use either any tree will work for your laboratory, and then just write some comments. Why? What's your conclusion? How you reach the conclusion?